A good evening, this is Tenerda to Human, and welcome back to our Roxolani female only campaign. And you join us at Alexandria, where the end of the Eastern Empire is very much nigh. Very much upon us. Um, we have what Alexandria, Petra, and Salamis, we should remember, left to destroy. And okay, Salamis is currently rebelling. That's interesting. Hadn't noticed that at this point. We do have some boats over here in case you want to send an army over, and indeed, we might well want to because. If it rebels, it might end up, yeah, in the hands of the, well, it will end up in the hands of the Eastern Empire. And they don't really want that. We don't want the rebels to end up with it because I don't want to attack them. And I do very much want to end up with Salamis. So to avoid that, we need to first of all take that region. So we are just trying to gather whatever forces we can. I'll probably just leave the Indian archers behind. That army is not quite enough. And some of them have only just got here this turn, haven't they? Indeed, they have. So, okay, this might have to be next turn when we send this off. Sipites, my good sir. You can grab a few more, some chariots as well. Lovely. Oh, that looks far, far better. Okay, you, sir, can get sailing. I hope they don't have a boat around. To be honest, I doubt they have an awful lot left. As for Petra, I've been gathering some forces at Sidon, Jerusalem, then Philadelphia. What's left after the massacre last time? Uh, and we're going to head off down south and, um, yeah, take our Petra next time. I think we can just make it. Yeah, it's uh, below on that tile, so we'll get the cavalry to uh, set that up. Last thing for this is this army, which seems like it can reach enough to attack me. So what I'm going to do is split off my force just a little bit, um, just to make sure that I've got something to deal with that force. Just to block up the bridge, really. That'll be fine. Still plenty enough in this army if they want to sally. If they want to sally, I reckon we've just all got them. Maybe... Mm, no, I think that'll be fine. That'll be absolutely fine. So we got them to block that off and just make sure that this army can continue the siege. And we can just deal with those uh, little random units. Now, okay, as for the rest of the Empire problems we need to solve... Well, these are both Christian. Right now, I'm not too bothered about it. We will change that once we finish off the Empire. As I say, I'd rather take Petra and Salamis first, just to make sure they don't end up, yeah, joining into the new Empire, which will form soon enough. Uh, Elisus has the plague, so does this man because I'm a complete numpty, but um, all that really mattered up north was, yes, we have the wandering Vandals, the wandering Huns, and the Sarmatians too, although, will they settle that? I think they will, but then what are they going to do with the next army? Hopefully, just go and take out some of the Western Empire, who are yet to backstab me, but who knows, that will probably come in time. So, we'll continue to have a little nose around this part of the world, but in general, things look absolutely fine. I think, though, it's, is it time to end our turn? But we do need a little bit of boat sinking first and foremost, don't we? You're heading off in that direction. Yeah, just keep on sinking them. Um, but to be honest, we've got to be careful not to completely batter up our fleet whilst there are a couple more ships here to kill. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just make sure we retrain. Our boats are pretty flimsy and I want to keep the experience on them. It's starting to get a little bit better, some of them, but they just die so easily. It's kind of a bit of a shame. Okay, we can probably send these boats out in the meantime. There's a couple more. Can we even take them out? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, no. Let's just leave them for now. All right, we'll end our turn, and we'll see what battles come up first. Are they going to attack us on the bridge, or would it be Petra and Salamis where we start off the day? Indeed, they are going to take me on at the bridge, and this suits me. We can take them down here, and then hopefully rejoin the main force Alexandria, assuming... There's nothing else coming to reinforce. We might just need to send a spy off to go and check on that. We did, of course, last time have the issue in Jerusalem where the game crashed and uh, all the units I mopped up actually ended up scuttling back in this direction, which is possibly what some of this is, maybe these three units. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. We'll uh, swing on in and we should hopefully be able to take them out. Of course, immediately we're going to get ourselves straight to the bridge, but we do have a couple units over there and a straight, which is nice because rather than actually swim, they might actually bother using this darn bit of the river. Excellent. So we're going to go get the Virgin Cav over there, uh, along with one of our archer units. 
The rest of them are lined themselves up. That's great. We'll be shooting them down. Anyone else who's got these guys in range, please get them shot ASAP. That will be marvellous. Hippos are getting themselves over here. You guys shoot the hippos. Uh, not sure anyone else is in range. Those eastern archers have been absolutely ripped apart already. That's just what we want to see. Get yourselves over here, horse archers. Go on to loose just to make sure that we are as safe as possible. And yeah, there we are. Plenty of missiles. I think we're going to win the missile battle because we've been on them really early in this. So they're going to run across with their Lanciari. They're going to get their horses in the way and get confused about what they're supposed to be doing. You guys, you girls even, just stop over there. I should point out, by the way, that um, particularly in England anyway, guys is very much used for girls as well. As well. I mean, more commonly for males, but uh, a group of girls might easily be called a you guys or whatever. It's absolutely fine and dandy. Okay, they're now distracted by these units more than I'd really like. I kind of like the infantry to just come and die, but it's fine. We can deal with them this way as well. No need to worry about that. Right, archers have mostly killed them. Excellent. Change your targets. If you can, hit those ones. Do the general has much longer range, so the general can try and pull them in. Get yourselves away from the missiles that are inevitably about to happen. We actually managed to get away on this occasion. That is marvellous. Okay, I think these cavalry need to just do a little dance, don't they? Let's just get them dancing around. And down he goes. I was about to do a little cut there, but actually, perfect timing. He is now dead. Okay, so all my archers should be shooting these ones. Excellent. Apart from you. That'll be lovely. And we are in a great position here just to shoot them down. Right. Horses, just get yourself around the back. All the way over to here. And honestly, it's time for the screeching. And they've already given up. Oh, excellent. Excellent stuff. They're actually going to route this way. So actually all missiles can be off at this point or stop what you're doing okay what are we going to do you can keep shooting of course and you can keep your skirmish mode on as we deal with them yeah we'll just get everyone over here we'll pull them towards the river and then we'll just shoot them down over there perfect chop 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 we did manage to shoot a couple of our ballers unfortunately kind of predictable but it's absolutely fine so the horse archers can just yep get themselves over here and all of our cav and basically we'll just pull them into an archery trap <laughs> okay um they need to be gone so that our missiles can all be shooting again that'll be absolutely lovely i think they are dead this chariot probably needs to stop don't they do we just knock over all the paulers yeah we knocked over a, a few paulers there we are she got back up all is absolutely fine okay can you at this point just actually just bring yourself back across the river actually to be frank it's probably better at this stage oh don't do brilliant well hopefully they don't drown but if they do drown they deserve it quite frankly oh for pete's sake now they're fleeing now they're fleeing all cavalry <laughs> honestly is there anything more stupid in barbarian invasion than this nonsensical swimming god only knows anyway let's go and chase them down i think we should be able to get some of them Perhaps predictably, they are going to route the moment we hit them, which is perfect. You continue to move on. Missiles should be very much off at this point. We're not going to get those Lanciari, unfortunately. They are just about going to sneak out of the uh, the battlefield. So there we are. All right, well, one unit gets away, but the rest are frightened goats slaughtered in the field. And with that... Yeah, can't really argue with that, Buweka. Oh yeah, he's actually the faction heir. I suppose to leave the <laughs> supposed to leave the faction heir at the actual important job. Anyway, he's gone to save everyone. He's gonna come back and then he's gonna conquer it as well. First things first, then let's use our spy to just get a little bit of a better look in this part of the world. Anyone else? It doesn't look like it. To be honest, we do have a spy in that city already. Okay, um, it's just the one unit we can probably just afford to leave a little bit less there so you know what i'm going to swap this around you sir 
come back and take over the army. You, sir, come back and take over this force. But to be honest, I'm just going to leave you with that. That will absolutely do. You can cover the bridge and make sure they're not coming back. So the are now the richest faction. I'm guessing they sacked the place. Um, looks a little bit like that. They're not besieging it anymore. Fine. Death stalks the land. And did I kill the man? I didn't kill the man. He's still there. That's good. And a new Hestia has been born. Excellent. Right, well, money's looking absolutely fine. No issue with that. Do you have some boats over here I just need to keep an eye on? But frankly, we need not be too concerned. Yeah, we'll hunt down some of these ships out here in the seas. Victory and glory. And yeah, just try and drown whatever we can. Sea is indeed ours. And at this point... It'd be hilarious if we lost. We could lose, but we sunk it. Excellent work. You go and deal with that. Good. Um, we do have some of their boats over here, by the way. Nothing on them. But we'll just have to keep a nosy on that situation. Again, they are just where we expect them to be. No worries about that. Just keep a close eye on it all. There is another one over here. Yeah, that's our other force. That's our Vandal force. So, as long as we have uh, the spy tracking them, I'm quite happy with that. Some nations, likewise, probably need to get tracked, actually. So we'll just grab ourselves another spy over here. We should, as I've said a few times, uh, remember to train up a kind of uh, ideal army here, actually. So we'll get a few more units out of there. We'll send this spy to go and track our allies. We just need to make sure they're causing us no issues. As for Salamis, well, 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 well. Do we have a spare spy over here? We do. I should have used it at the start. But it's fine. They can probably still just about manage to get here. The boat's run out of space, but he has not. So get into the city. Oh, there's very little left. But they have been given a family member. Or given a few, actually. Interesting. Well, we're going to put it under siege. Uh, the walls are... <laughs> the gates are open. Excellent. We could uh, go in for that. Um, you know what? We probably will, but we will get some rams first as well, just to just to make sure we're all set up. He's on the bridge. That's fine. We want to make sure we get our other cities um, under siege first. So get yourself here. We have a spy and we have a second spy. Lovely. So more gates hopefully going to be open soon enough. Next turn, most likely, it will get the rest of the army to join up. And two turns. Okay, two, two, one into the build points. That should be plenty enough. Right, next turn, Petra. Next turn, Salamis. And Alexandria It's nine turns. That's hilarious. It's going to last forever. Don't worry, we will head in there. I just want to get the other settlements dealt with first. Now, I'm not entirely sure how the negotiations with these guys works, actually, because... Now, they become the Empire when we kill the Empire, but do we carry over our diplomacy with this faction or with the original faction? Presumably with this one. But I, having played as these guys before, I should have some idea, but I really don't. They accept. We are now allies with these good chaps. I'll quite happily leave them in this corner with this awful, awful territory and their beautiful colours. Oh, I do love the colour of that. Okay, so... Who are you, by the way? Oh, you've gone a long way from home. You know what? We should probably just keep them over there. That'll be fine. So we'll go take Petra so that they don't need to worry about that. And the Sassanids, who I think are also allies with them, by the way. Yes, indeed they are. We now have a nice three-way alliance uh, with them as the enemy. I suspect... Yeah. I suspect the Sassanids will be backstabbing me before too long. But we do have very full up cities in terms of... Uh, our army sizes so they do seem to be put off by us so far maybe they'll head for colonial dacia but we shall see about that judging by their numbers it's been refreshed so they must have sacked it then it does make sense with the uh, largest faction nonsense okay well i am happy enough to move on now the key thing obviously is taking these two cities not to battle i was expecting i'm not really sure how this army has appeared i'm guessing by that boat thomas okay Interesting that they decide to attack them and not just dump them near the city where they could reinforce a battle. Fine, what have they got? Three archers, a cav, two limitane. Interesting. Well, 
it is a bridge, but we're now defending the other side of the bridge. Anyway, it's all fine. Let's head in. But of course, the key thing for us is to make sure that we are shooting down these archers ASAP. We have a little bit of bonus range with these Civian nobles. But um, yeah, yeah, the Civian noble women are only going to be able to do so much. We need the full set of virgin horse archers to slaughter their archers. So we are in loose, but of course, we are also a little bit bunched up as well, which is unfortunate. So hopefully, at the very least, we're going to do a lot of damage before they get to do anything. If they want to charge across the river, I'm quite happy pulling back. So are they going to be shooting yet? No, they're still trying to shuffle around. They're unhappy with how many of their men are actually dying, which is excellent. Exactly kind of what I want to be seeing. So let's just try and make sure we're getting the shots away. Okay, we've done plenty of damage. I'm going to start... Do I want to start pulling back? They're still reshuffling, you know. Still a lot of reshuffles. Hit the next unit and just hope that we're in a good position. Use cover here just in case, but we can always bring them back into the fray if we need to. You start shooting specific targets. We'd need them done, 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 and done. Yeah, they are still getting confused. This is perfect. Okay, good. We are set. They are not. And they're in such a thin line that they are trying to reorganize really stupidly. Even the battle mode music realizes this isn't so much a battle as a little bit of a slaughter currently. It's a bit ridiculous. But I will absolutely be taking this scenario because they are mostly shot down already. They are finally making a move, so I'm going to pull my units back a little bit. Let's get my horses to move. Shoot them in the water. And Limitane can just be, yeah, gunned down. They'll be, they'll be shot down soon enough. Uh, you shoot their Limitane. Get yourself into that kind of a position. Yeah, and we'll just get the cavalry to smash into them. That's fine. They are not going to be happy about this. Yes, this is good. Most of those archers are already dead, so I think we should be fine with that scenario. Yep, pull yourself straight out of there. Pull yourself straight out of there. Straight out of there. They are not necessarily doing what they're supposed to. Okay, good. We should be getting plenty of missiles into the back of them right now. Not necessarily the finishing blow you wanted. We want to try and catch one of them out. This unit are still in the water. If we can we can get into a bit closer to them. Let's get us out of loose. Yeah, get yourself back to tight. Get yourselves moving. They are reloading. I think this is our moment here. You try and sneak by. Try and sneak by, sneak by, sneak by, sneak by. And they're out in. Good news. Everyone on top of them. You shoot them while you've got a small opportunity. While they're winded, they're still crossing over the river. Plow, 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 plow. Oh, good. We did it. Those three can chase everyone down. And you pull yourselves back. They are going to get into some hand to hand combat. I don't really want that. Because those are equite and we are not. So get yourselves out of there. You chase them down. You pull back a little bit as well, good sir. But we should all be shooting at them if we have the opportunity to continue shooting at those guys. This is working surprisingly well. Bit of a uh, <laughs> bit of skirmishing always does the job nicely. Those three horses there really battered, but they did the job, so I'm quite pleased. Right, where are we at now? There's only three on Limitane. Just let them go. No need to be too concerned about that. Ooh, okay, what are they going to do? They're eager, surprisingly, but tired. Let's wait for my moments. Three, two... Mm, not quite yet. Because actually they're still getting shot. Shaken, wavering, charge them down. And that will be them going. There we are, that's the general. Done, 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 and done. You get on top of them. Yes, hunt them down. Are they going to run back across the river? Because that would be excellent if so. Uh, archers are also going to cross the river. Shoot who you want. Just shoot them down. Fish in a barrel. Right, perfect. Butcher them. We should be pretty much entirely done now. Indeed, they decided to rout in the river, and that means they're probably about to die. Come on there. Where are they swimming? Do they even know? I think they're going to swim down to their deaths, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that's that's a fair few corpses. I mean, are they are they swimming or are they just spinning? He doesn't even have arms anymore. That was such a good shot with the arrows. Lovely. 
Lovely, 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 lovely. You get across the river. You two get across the river as well. And oh, don't don't do that. No, no. Oh no, they're all utter numpties. Just shoot what you can. It's fine. It will have to do. For Pete's sake, you you can cross the river at least because you're in a slightly more slightly more sensible place. Lucky for me, we've managed to at least get one unit across the uh, the, the little shallows there, which is good news because otherwise we wouldn't be chasing them down at all. So just a quick shot at them and a charge down at these guys and that will be the battle right there. That went a lot better than I thought. Uh, basically lost nothing apart from a few virgin calves, so I will absolutely take that. Well, it certainly looks like from the spy here that they don't have too much left. It's just that one unit we already knew was hanging around. There is an assassin too, but he shouldn't be too much of a problem. Western Empire continue to be fairly special. We continue to have Steve here being plagued. And enemy army has routed, as we already knew. We did a few boats getting demolished on that end turn, didn't we? Uh, so yes, maybe a little bit of revenge is in order. Thank you, sir. Even when they're like nearly dead, they always seem to like some way of getting away. Only 12 men drown, drown, drown. Much better news for me. Same with all the boats. Mostly gone, mostly ours. Yeah, we can start to focus on our city. So Salamis should be rather silly. Uh, let's go into Petra though, because we got four rams ready for this one. You know what? I think we'll just do an orchard as a close victory. Wow, game. Okay. Why is this so unhappy? Very strange. Should we just burn them down anyway? Just burn them down anyway. Just for being utter plebs. Why are they so miserable? Okay, Christian. Sure. Lots of unrest. Has there been lots of nonsense going on here for a while? I suspect there has. Okay. We're not going to be getting any troops out of here, so we actually will go with the health bonus for one of these rare occasions. That's fine, and um, hmm, is it just at 400? It's just at 400, it's just a tiny place. No one's here. No one is here at all. Okay, I'm going to get my general out of it, actually, because that's not really going to do him any good. So we'll just merge what we've got. I won't even worry about uh, all of that. We'll just leave behind... Just leave behind a few units, that's okay. Um, I haven't added in any female mercs at this stage, unfortunately, so there's nothing more to put there. There's nothing we can really do about this. i tell you what I will do. I'm going to hire these men, and I'm going to immediately sack them. They're all dismissed. But at least now, they've gone into our population, which is more men to be angry, and they're probably armed men who are angry. But hey-ho, I'm sure that'll be absolutely fine. So a mercenary captain is now ours. That's perfect. So she picked up a lover, but there's not much else than that. Fine. Petra was always going to be the slightly less interesting battle. Just a bunch of Limitane getting slaughtered. But this one, this looks fun. This could be a little bit of a... could be a race. It could be all sorts of nonsense. So, unfortunately, the gates are no longer open. But we have plenty of rams anyway. So we have Tertius Flavius here. Christian. Astute wife. Met by force, but now he's pious. Doesn't make much sense, sir. Uh, over here we have Plomacus, who has some hippos and Marciari, all of that lovely goodness. And Ustus Flavius, who is presumably... Yeah, okay, he's a little bit older. Hypochondriac, that's what I want to see. So yeah, harsh governor, poor cavalry commander. He is not exactly going to do well, is he? All right, fine. We can chop him down. Let's swing on to battle. Okay, this should be an interesting battle. We have ourselves, obviously, a wall to smash down at the front here. And by the front, I mean very much the side, actually. This is not necessarily the most uh, excellent approach angle. But I do have units in all sorts of positions, particularly yeah, on my cavalry over here. I do have another ram, actually, in this part of the world. You can just aim for that wall, which hopefully just takes you as far away from, you know, well, actually, I'll to shift. And then to do that, hopefully it will then follow the order. I don't know that it will. In fact, let's just reset that command. Yeah, go there. Okay. There, there, and there. Fine. Okay, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. We are going to 
run our cavalry over to meet them. So where exactly are they? They're around the corner here. Fine, 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 fine. Right, so let's get ourselves into this position as quick as possible and try to cut them off. Quick reminder then, where are all their troops? They're all on the plaza already. Maybe we could have a race. This could be a bit of a race. That could be fun. Top of the spike right now. That's very nice. All right, well, we'll do what we can. Um, but we'll just knock we'll just knock it all down. That'll be excellent. So cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. You are they're not rushing actually, are they? That's good to see. Okay. So let's now get ourselves running over there. We should be mostly out of range. Maybe this thing will just pick us off. Just the one unit, maybe. Right. We're now sneaking up to the gate. And we're gonna knock it down. Over here then we have ourselves some hippos who are presumably already shooting, which is slightly annoying, so we're just going to go and take those out immediately. A few missiles to cause these problems. Yeah, just keep running, keep running, keep running away from those. That will be ideal. So, okay. Down goes the gate. And hopefully down go these hippos. Um, yes. Just run through that way so we're not completely stuck against these guys. They're equity auxiliary over here. Marty are going to throw some missiles in. But hopefully we don't lose too many to those javelins. That is okay by me. Chariots. Chariots, chariots, chariots. You head into the Lanciari. And yeah, this is currently my horse archers to deal with you. You, however, go on to tight and you get yourselves around to go deal with these girls. Yes, lovely. In fact, those are the enemy and those are manly men. So, down they go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're just going to charge into these because I think they're going to all be fleeing pretty much momentarily. Down they go. All missiles can stop for the moment. Let's just make sure that nothing's really happening. It's another missile going in there. The general's on the plaza. Excellent news. And there's that one unit back there. Enemy wolves are indeed down. Into those hippos, everyone. Into the hippos. Let's just make sure we clear them out. Excellent work. So just one unit in the back here. You just peel off and deal with them. Chariots are just doing some nonsense back here. That's absolutely fine. Uh, you, random equity unit. <laughs> do you want to deal with them? Yeah, we do, actually. You go and deal with them. You can shoot if you wish. That will be lovely. They might actually just run straight into this archer unit, which would be quite amazing if they do. Come on, walk straight into them. Oh, walk straight into us. Oh, we just shot our own, own units there for a moment. They are not going to enter the city. Oh, they are going to enter the city. Okay. I think they might just get away with that. But we'll try and shoot them anyway. So with any luck, yeah, we'll be able to deal with all of them. Right, well, that's the opening done. That's most of them cleared off. Cavalry can basically, aside from like one unit, can just like regroup over here actually that will be absolutely fine okay garbage to oh they turned around utter numpties come and die properly hippos right you're still getting shot are you looks like it fortunately they seem to have got that one unit away that's a shame right well i guess it's time to start sending some of our troops into the city it's only got basic walls so we might as well start sending them forward um, to the plaza it is them. There's of course one other general here so I am sending a big part of the cavalry off to go and deal with them. A couple horse archers should do a nice job over here just making sure we pepper them as they arrive. We'll grab yeah all of our actual like melee cavalry as well just to front them up. Obviously the headhunters are the main girls who are here to cut down these lads. We actually do have lovely armour. I do love the yellow and purple combo, as well as the uh, silver little armour there. That's very nice indeed, but it's not going to be looking too good as the missiles start piling on in. So, into their, well, shield side, unfortunately. But uh, it is the general side, so I'll certainly take that. 
Uh, Mr. General, you seem to be walking into missiles. Maybe speed it up a little bit. You're ruining the uh, yes, the watch of this part of the battle. Okay, we're probably not going to do very much with these missiles here, but if nothing else, we will at least soften him up a tiny, tiny bit. So good, 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 good. Let's just start getting ourselves a little bit more around the back here. Doesn't like that, I wouldn't have thought. Glad to have General in the unit. You can be happy all you want about that. But I'm going to go and plonk two units on that gate, actually. And that seems very, very sensible indeed. So, they're starting to get shot down. They don't seem to be rushing, do they? I will speed up for just a moment. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I reckon it's time to go. And maidens, get yourselves in there as well. And you can just kind of close the trap. Send a few missiles in as you go. And now cancel that order. Pile in. <laughs> the axes are straight in there. Chopped him down. I love those axe hunting maidens. The head hunting maidens are very good anti-cav units. They do, they do struggle against infantry, but as anti-cav, oh yeah, they are absolutely marvellous. You ladies just get yourselves away from the gateway. You never seem to have got the order to get to the plaza. A few of the other units have started to make it though, so we'll just uh, speed it up and get ourselves onto the final part of the battle. Well, we have plenty enough half in position at this stage, so I'm just going to go and get some of my Amazonians ready to shoot. So they are in a fun position over here. Uh, we don't have all the cav to do the normal cav teasing. They're outside. I can't be bothered to get them into position. So we'll just start shooting. So in we go with some lovely, lovely shots. Peasants and Imperial Bodyguard aren't going to like that too much. Let's just get you running away at this point. See if they are going to get teased in or if they're just going to run in that direction. I did tell you to run. Please run anytime. That would be great. Like now, particularly. No? Eh, taking them a little while. Okay. Well, it looks like the cavalry are going to nearly catch them, but probably not quite. So, they are on a big, 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 big chunky charge now, and it looks like they're just a little bit too late for this. Some point blank range shooting from our other Amazonians. Finish up the trap. And now, hand to hand, get the screeches in there too. Paula, yeah, she can get in the rear. Come on, Paula. There we are. All the way around, all the way around. Circle into the trap. Perfect. Right. And now that we're in position, Paula, get yourself. Come on. Paula. Paula. You're going to remember to kill him. Back him down, Paula. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, they missed him. They missed him. Bit of a shame, but they can shoot him down as he flees. Come on, someone shoot him down. And conveniently, he's decided to stand right there trying to die. I think we can probably just uh, actually get everyone just to move up forward at this point. Let's get them lined up on the edge of the plaza. Oh, he wants to actually come in and die, does he? Does he? Well, we will shoot him down if he wants to, right in front of his glorious temple. It is quite glorious. Lovely. Soul Invictus. Got to appreciate that, but... Uh, in come a huge pile of Amazonian missiles. They are shrugging them off. Nice work, says. But uh, I think at this point, surely can't last much longer. Fair enough, sir. You are a goddamn hero. How many of us? Oh, he absolutely brutalized her, didn't he? All right, fine. He flees once again. He flees again. Right. They're not happy about that. He needs to get shot down now. Fair enough. Fair enough, fight properly, my good sir, but you must die now. So down he has to go. Chop him down, girls, chop him down. He uh, He's a fair foe, but his horse can't help him when it's chopped in two. Go hunt down the peasants, my girls. Go hunt them down. And this should be fun. Lambs to the slaughter! What more could anyone ask for? And the peasants will fight bravely, but these men are not sufficient for our amazing Amazons. Chunk them down, chunk them down. We are going to lose some, we just lack a shield to actually block everything. We have a bit of defence skill, of course. It won't necessarily 
be enough to stop us from getting a few casualties along the way. So 5 of 10 are going to go down here, I imagine. But down goes the final Steve. And it's victory for Stevie once again. Glorious victory. In the end, a very effective battle, it should be said. No experience game, which is a bit harsh, but um, I'm quite pleased with that. Salamis always is a rich city, and we saw it is pagan, so we'd hope that it'd be happier than that. Some of them have been actually very relaxed when we walked in, but not this one. I think it's just that that one general uh, was so brutally effective, yeah. Uh, and Ashuti the Harsh. So, so good that, uh, yeah, he's got the classic kind of like famous victor, destroyer, authoritarian governor. Very, very not, well, not that nice, but certainly useful. Doubts about the god. He's actually gained a uh, minus morale on the battlefield. That's interesting. He's got two eagles, though. Yes, I hadn't thought about that. Poor infantry commander. That might be my fault for the one battle, although, was that maybe the other general? Might have been the other general. Anyway, all is fine. At this point then, we've taken over Petra. That seems angry. We've taken over Salamis. That seems less angry. I'm just going to stand you on the port so I have some idea what's going on. Should probably repair the wall. And after that, we'll just get a new Paula just to keep things tied over. Okay, we'll leave Vertigan on the bridge for now. But I think next turn we can join them up and finish off the Eastern Empire once and for all. New young general come through. I'm going to send it over to Athens where we do have a scriptorium. I'm not sure about Tomstantinople, actually. Do we have one there as well? We do indeed. So whilst we can't necessarily build it ourselves, some of our cities do have academies or scriptoriums. Worth bearing that in mind, actually. There might be a few places where I can do that. So Athens and uh, Tomstantinople seem to be a couple of them. Isn't someone like Antioch? There's a good chance it does as well. Uh, it doesn't look like it. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? So yeah, uh, few, only a few of these actually do. So yeah, if you get for a young general, I don't have too many options of where to send them. General. This guy as well. I think it might do the same with you. You can go over to Tomstantinople. Just want to keep people getting trained up. All right, well... Interesting, we've still got more of our vandals off in that direction. I'm going to send this guy over here. I've never seen the whole Goths being dead message arrive, by the way. I'm um, just going to send the spy wandering around just to see what's going on. Not too concerned about all of that nonsense, but uh, worth keeping an eye on it. As for the Sunmations, I did tell you to follow them, which means they're just up here. Okay. I'll leave him on that mission right now. We know where they are vaguely, if nothing else. Okay, end of turn four. Some money again. I've just kind of been queuing things up in most of my cities. Petra is so unhappy. It's actually insane. Um, I don't have... What I probably need is an extra general in this region, really, to just flip it over. Uh, do we have enough turning this around? Not really... Uh, this might flip if I'm not careful. We have nothing else we can flip next turn. Um, after we are done with killing the uh, the old empire here. So, we're going to take these troops, although not the general. The general can stay there. He needs to, uh, you know, uh, yes, he can, he can t keep those seven with him. Why not? But yes, we're going to take this army and we're going to head on into Alexandria to finish this off so two to one um committed tenses pretty tough as we know first cohort eastern archers hippos and the general he's 58 at this point i see bloody so extra morale um in terms of other things because with daughter is plus two morale so basically they're all gonna fight forever <laughs> logistics as well plus four um, don't see extra things. He's a night fighter, so no gain there. And lenient. Okay, um, this is going to be interesting. That's minus one morale. Oh, thank God we got something. But it doesn't really make much difference at this point. All right, everyone's going to fight to the very last. I haven't got the Amazons when we're here. So it's going to be a lot of chunking. But you know what? So long as we get it over the line, I'm happy with this. Belka, after your long, long adventure through the Amazon, for the Amazon, through the Sahara to the Amazon, you'll finally be able to defeat the Eastern Empire. Let's go.
Of course, the best thing about taking on these epic stone walls means that we have the Ballistas of Doom. So they're going to get ripped to shreds as we head on into the city. And that means the disadvantage we had is very much now <laughs> just working entirely in our advantage. So yes, I am uh, pretty darn happy about this. This unit, oh yeah, there we are. It wasn't getting shot too much at the start. Now it certainly is. You, my good tower, Ballista, should be shooting this one. You can drop that ram. It seems to be DED dead. That's a shame. That tends to happen. But oh well. This one's also on fire. And nothing over here. Okay. That means that these towers need to just kind of re-angle where they're going. No need to actually worry about getting up on... Actually, no, yeah. One of us actually does need to get on the wall, actually, doesn't it? So... Let's just get some of you forward into that kind of a position. You can start swinging back over there. Those eastern archers are the least of my worries, actually, so that's good. We should actually have a chance of dealing with some of this. Okay, a tiny bit of missile left on this tower, which is a bit of a shame to leave that lying around, but it is what it is. You get yourselves right down underneath that tower. That will be excellent. And yeah, you need to move so that this unit can keep going. Right, hopefully this tower can come and help do the job that the others haven't quite finished off and shoot down all of these units. Who could argue that we don't fight with honor? We've already lined up the bodies of the dead here, apart from a few of them, but they were they, they were scum. So we threw them over there. But urban barracks, very nice indeed. I don't even know that we have something to do with all of that, but if I create some more units in time, maybe we will... What units are actually going to make it up here, by the way? I hope it's a good one. It's not. It's totally not. Okay, well, uh, a lot of the, it does seem to be the foot archers a lot of the time, which isn't necessarily ideal, but we'll just see how it goes. Uh, we do have... Oh, yeah, we can take control of the towers once we get up here, so that's going to be excellent. Right, we can grab control of some towers. These are moving, which is good for me... Maybe just shoot and guard, actually, because shooting tends to be quite good, actually, if we're already on the wall. They are going to... We're going to get ballisted ourselves here, but... Oh, there we are, yeah. Maybe they might actually shoot down their own with their ballistas. I don't know. Could be fun. Uh, we all, They're already routing. Oh, excellent. That's perfect news. Shoot into them, shoot into them. Maybe some fire would be good. This tower... Is it shooting? I think this might be getting some shots off. Yeah, I think it might be shitting the other unit, actually, as we go past. Yeah, some of them. Definitely some of them. And we... No, we're still fighting. I love flaming arrows on a wall. Come on. Come on. There we go. They're eager and fresh, but they are getting shot from behind, I think. I think we're just a little bit stuck, actually, on the corpse of that tower. But we're still doing some damage, which is nice to see these are they're getting completely obliterated thomas you should probably pay some attention okay you get over here that would be ideal um can you get into a better position you can get yourselves over here run over there please run over there and okay they are now getting obliterated so that's perfect walls have been captured veto victory is open lovely and with that, yeah, we can start to grab the next section of the tower. That's actually our best unit, or our strongest unit. It's actually up on the wall, but it's fine. This unit... They're getting chased as well, but actually, if we can just move, that would be lovely. Just try and grab that next tower. The height of these towers is very awkward. I'm aware that it's annoying, but it's also irritating for me. So we've got this tower. You get in there, screeches. It's a bit screeching, actually. Come on, Paula. Get on the screech. Oh, God, it's really hard to get the camera angles working. They're unhappy, but they are fresh. Charge into them, Paula. Take them down. There's 19 commit tenses left. There's no inward missiles, unfortunately. But it will have to do. So, they are all over the place. <laughs> That's fine. This unit is still getting shot. I am telling them to move, but they are refusing to follow the orders You've now got this, which means that we're shooting down at these foolish horses. So the hippos are busy trying to shoot down the German girls, but no, 
Paula, uh, while well, the old Paula might get shot up there, it'd be a nice shot actually. They might go flying off. It could be good fun. Um, while well, some of them might get hit here, I think in general they're probably quite happy about this. Yeah, I didn't see which one went down, but sadly some of them are getting shot up there. What I need to do is get them over into position to deal with that. Yay! That's lovely. This tower is just a distraction, which is perfect because they're getting shot. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Oh, they're so distracted by the tower. This is like a firing squad. Shoot them down, ladies. Shoot them down. Oh, yeah. They're just not responding at all, are they? Oh, I love it. This is great with news. Okay, we're mostly through the way in now. We've captured this section over here. They're just screaming. They're, they're kind of happy that they somehow survived. Fair play to them, to be honest. Fair play. And hippos are continuing to follow us around. And there we are, we've got the main gateway now. Brilliant stuff. Slay them. Just get in there, girls. Get the daggers out. And uh, I say daggers, that's a full-blown sword, love. Okay, get in there, finish them off. And if you finish them off, then you can turn your attention down there and shoot those hippos. Okay, love it. Right, get the Paulers to start screeching. And to be honest, I think they don't have inward shoot into there so we'll get to the very next one with that unit they can make it a little bit further how do i get to the plaza from here ah oh, we're level five so just straight here already we've already got the towers we need actually so you know what those six don't need to die unnecessarily although that tower could be helpful so we'll just grab it at this point where are you dying uh oh to those people down there that's absolutely fine not to be too surprised hack them down paulers Anytime. That's a proper cleaver. He <laughs> I think she's got him already. I know he's trying to take a shot. Ends up being a good dodge as well. Right, now they're starting to axe. There we go. Takes a while to figure it out. Get the other screeching women down here. These ones shooting down there. And to be honest, what else is left? All infantry. Just get on top of them. And I do have one fresh unit, but we'll keep them outside for the time being. Let's just grab yeah, grab you. Apparently they want to leave. I don't I don't really blame them, but I'm not sure it's going to work out too well for you. Boiling oil on their own horses. Oh, poor hippos. Boiled hippo for dinner tonight. Oh, well. And they're now going as well. So they're going to flee, presumably through our own troops, which is amusing to me anyway. Who's getting shot? People are getting absolutely wrecked. I think this is our own towers now shooting us. We've taken them over, but they're doing more damage to us. No! Stupid ballista towers. Okay. Get those six back here, and I think it's time just to build everyone up on the edge of the plaza to finish this off. What is left it is their final general, and whatever unit this is. A little bit of mopping up to do, actually. These units are actually back in the battle, having got back to the plaza, but now they are dead. Good. Get yourself in the side street. Trying to get ourselves organised. Awfully rude of them to get involved with an actual battle. Anyway, it was time to get the horse archers into place. The horse archers, oh yeah, that is magnificent. Get them into position. At this point, we're largely in position. We're just going to tell all our missiles to shoot. Don't know if anyone is actually in range. The general probably can actually. So the general can get in a nice sensible position. Get some shots away. If he can shoot from back here, he might as well shoot from within the rest of the horse archers. Oh, look at this magnificent display here. We've got the final imperial palace of the Eastern Empire. We've got our Amazonian chariots. We've got the virgin horse archers. The good old ham hams are here. And of course, we are flanked by some of beautiful virgin calf and a magnificent head hunting maidens they're gonna get chunky when it comes down to the final general here uh general didn't quite actually tease them in with his one round so some committed tenses over there see if we can just pull them in and a few missiles can we tease them i'll be finally ready for the tease to be complete it certainly looks like it they're getting close to being pulled in now i don't think we actually killed any of them yet but here we go they're gonna come on in right they're probably gonna try and get to the general who's in position over there they're like oh who do you want to kill get the headhunters in headhunters get charging 
Uh, all horse archers, this isn't your job. Stay, stay, stay. Chariots, chariots. You're here to distract the others, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's all chaos. Here's the general, the last man of the Eastern Empire. And he might well be the last one left, actually. He is indeed. He's just standing there. And it was, it was a great sword there. Yes. Beautiful. And we're just going to put in that last set. Now, I love it. It was definitely some orange that took him down as far as I could see. I'm very, very pleased about that. Get yourselves back. I'm going to get my chariots to sod off. They can be around, but uh, not too much nonsense. Charging the Paulers! Here we go! And they are routing. They're routing. No, 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 no. This isn't how you get to end, lads. You get chopped down by the Paulers. So, send them in. We could send some headhunting maidens in to do some flanking maneuvers as well. Get the version cab over there. If there's any time, any more of them left to kill, then they can do it. But we'll just see if they can manage to uh, pull that off or not. Because currently, yeah, the Paulers are screeching their heads off or they're chopping them down. Oh, this has been great work. Well, this is really step one of this campaign, to be honest, is to take out these guys. And from here, it's going to be the Sassanids or the Eastern Empire next. The Hentai Maidens couldn't wait, could they? Not even bothering to charge. Don't even really need to charge. But we'll push them off the plaza with this last push here. Good. So, um, yes. Assassin's or Western Empire, depending on who betrays me. I plan on the Sassanids to go down next. But I would like a bit of consolidation. Just to make sure I can make sure all my cities are pagan. Converted. All of that nonsense. And we'll see the from there. Hmm. Sweet music to our warriors. We have captured another Roman city. And with that, oh yeah, victory and glory. Victory. And we have captured a wonder. Exterminate the population. That is great news. And the old order collapses. We don't get to see this message too often. What we do on this channel, actually, but I haven't seen it too much, generally speaking. Civil war has ended. The rebels have overthrown their brothers. Now new masters lorded over these people and we must look to our own interests. Do we give these people uh, do we do we give these people with fair words or sharp swords? It depends which diplomacy carried over. Unfortunately, it's that diplomacy. So hmm. Hmm oh. Completely empty. I just bribe it. Bribe. No. Apparently they don't want to. You know what? It might just rebel. If they've, they've, they've got no forces for it, then I guess it's just over for it. So I don't know. We'll have to see how that one turns out. Fine. All right. We are going to lay down Watchtower. There is their new faction leader over here. Uh, Magnentius. Good, good, good. But um, I don't think there's much he can do, to be honest. No. All right. Well, I think the general over here can lay us a new watchtower, which would be vaguely sensible. I'm going to put it just off the path, so rebels are less likely to be annoying with it. But uh, we've not been seeing many rebels anyway. Sorry, headphone news is. Um, Egyptian loyalty has been increased. Brilliant. There are no Egyptians, as you might well have noticed. Um, I don't think anyone counts as that anyway. I mean, it's the same base files as Rome, but uh, yeah, well, the Berbers are technically Carthaginians. These are not. Ah, they were actually besieging this last assault, but they seem to have failed to take it. Fine, as I say, this is really the end of part one of this campaign, but we will be continuing for sure. I have been really enjoying this, and I think there's certainly more fun to have, potentially more units to throw in. We very rarely take on the Sassanids on this game, and on this occasion, they are very strong indeed. They haven't taken a trip as Alani, but they have gone all the way to the Sarmatian territory, so... This could yet be very, very intriguing indeed. So we're going to take them out and see see what happens with the Western Empire. Because, hmm, yeah, don't really like the look of them floating around here. 
I'm quite happy to leave them alone. I could play the rest of this campaign and not make a big deal out of them, but we will see if they want to pick a fight. We'll absolutely give them the bulldoze treatment. But for now, I suppose it is time to leave you. I'm Thomas. This is the most human. This has been our Roxanne the Human Only campaign. Thank you very much, and bye bye. They're all queuing up to fight them. These are truly the British rebels right here. War cry and charge at the dogs of what are they routing again? <laughs> what are you doing, my silly trumpet? They're actually taking on my reinforcements. <laughs> Welcome to the Rebel Experience, ladies and gents.